Okay, so everybody can see my screen. All right, guys, I would be your uh, tableau trainer. I am Akriti. I have uh, totally eight years of experience in different industry verticals, and I have four years of experience in Tableau. So I have designed multiple Tableau visualizations for different industries. Uh, we today uh, uh, is since it's a it's a demo session. I'll just tell you exactly what Tableau is and what are the products of Tableau. And uh, last uh, maybe few minutes we'll spend in just getting excited with Tableau. So quickly we'll see what all the chart types we can make and how is Tableau going to help us in uh, the visualization. So we'll start with Tableau introduction. Now, why did the need of Tableau actually arise? You know, we were because initially the reporting was basically done on on Excel or uh, maybe some other uh, uh, reporting tools, which most of the companies were following. But all of the sudden, since uh, Tableau came into market, and uh, the it, it's been proved very effective. Now, why did the need of Tableau or faster visual analytics come into picture? Because it's all because uh, in 2020, the world's data is expected to reach around 45 zettabytes. So zettabyte is uh, really a huge uh, data that has been, uh, you know, flowing in. And uh, like... Uh, As I would expect everybody of you to keep uh, yourself on mute so that we can have a smooth session ahead. And if, if in case anybody wants to uh, say something, they can put it in chat window or ask me to un uh, ask me before you unmute yourself so that everybody is on the same platform. Okay, thank you for that. And like uh, like I was saying that uh, you know like. Uh, Nowadays, our, uh, lots of data is being stored, even if uh, we talk about individual ourselves, right, from ordering pizza to credit card, our, all the data are stored with our phone numbers. You know, the first time you go to any hospital or go Ibigo or your normal dominoes also, they just store your data. And until and unless that data is brought into use, it's of no, uh, you know, just keeping it makes no, no sense. You need to bring... Uh, uh, bring some value out of that data and when you want to uh, bring out value from that data in a faster uh, way so that you can analyze it properly you need to have a fast visual reporting tool so that is the reason uh, you know Tableau is helping people to do exactly that, that. so what exactly is Tableau? Tableau, is a soft, uh, Tableau software is an American computer software company where its headquarters is in Seattle, USA. It produces a family of interactive data visualization products focused on business intelligence. So Tableau has got lots of, uh, you know, it's got a huge product family. So basically there are five products uh, that are, uh, uh, that Tableau has. So it uh, starting from Tableau desktop where again you have two types of desktop, personal version, professional version, you have a Tableau public, you have Tableau server, Tableau online and Tableau reader. So these basically are the five product families of Tableau. We'll deal with them individually. So this is what I was talking about, right? If you can see that in uh, 2008, it was uh, the data which we had was really very uh, minor or very less. And this is what we are expecting. So right now we are over here write a lot of data so you can say see a one zettabyte data is like one billion terabytes so if I talk about 45 zettabytes it's like huge 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 data so uh, and uh, when you have so much data you need a faster analysis so what exactly is Tableau Tableau is a business intelligence software that allows anyone to easily connect to data, then visualize and create interactive shareable dashboards. So, uh, you know, when you are working with Tableau, the best way to present your data to the client or even to the final presentation of the data is best in a dashboard. Yes, you have an option of building stories also, but... Uh, Stories has not yet gained much uh, uh, 
familiarity in tableau world many people are not very familiar with uh, stories in tableau but it's not a bad idea i always do my presentation in story so we'll deal with how story how do you develop a story but yes dashboard is a a great way of presenting your visualization when you try to present your visualization and for worksheet level it doesn't look good and plus all the manipulations of with your data is there on on the data pane and it's visible so it looks a little unorganized when you present it so the best way is to present it on a dashboard and uh, when we will be heading to this we will see how we can present different types of dashboards uh, moving ahead with what Tableau is, it is easy enough that even a non-technical users can learn it, but powerful enough to satisfy even the most complex analytical problems. So it's it's quite easy, you know. You can just uh, if you happen to work with Tableau, you feel that you just uh, drag and uh, drop a few data panes into the worksheet canvas, and something appears. So it's quite easy, but here I differ in a way because, uh, you know, uh, why do I differ is uh, when you do data anal uh, analysis or when you're working with data, you have two important ingredients. You have one is your question and one is the data with which you need to derive your answers from. So basically, you would not just require, uh, you know, anything just just any visualization to pop up in your screen and you're comfortable with this with each data set comes a question that you need to answer to so basically i believe in in uh, yes tableau is quite easy but but we should tame tableau in such a way that it gives us what we want you know it's not that uh, we have uh, the choice of show me option and there are some charts and it tells me okay these are the charts which you can make through show me and that is all you can do. No, there are various other charts that are not present in Show Me. And you can, of course, make so many different types of chart. So through the training, we will also see how to bring uh, the Show Me option into minimum use and build different types of chart, which will make us stand apart from those who are using normal Show Me options. Okay, moving ahead. Securely sh uh, sharing your finding with others only takes seconds. So naturally uploading your Tableau visualization to Tableau server or even if your company doesn't have a Tableau server, they can go for Tableau online and, uh, you know, even uh, print screen and uh, sending workbooks as an attachment is, is a very uh, handy thing in Tableau world. It doesn't matter if we send a print screen attached in a mail. It is quite a quite normal thing to do. So it is not very complicated that each time you have to upload a particular visualization into the server. Actually, you, ha you only upload those visualizations which you are confident with and you are like end to end done with the workbook. Then only you go and upload it on the server because server is a little, little um, a uh, complicated thing. You can't just uh, go on putting anything and everything on the server. It has a limited space and lots of users are there. You cannot just confuse them with any anal analysis that you have done. So you have to be sure of what you are putting on server. But again, when you are you're working so much and hard in building a visualization, you would always want and you reach to analysis, you would always want to share it across the team or maybe share it with your client. In that case, you can just send as an attachment in your mail through a print screen or a Word doc. So all these things are quite acceptable. It's it's not, not, not like you would be uh, seen as a very kiddish thing to do. It's quite acceptable in Tableau world. So we'll see which are the ways you can share your Tableau uh, visualization and moving ahead with the training. Tableau is a BI software that you can trust to actually deliver answer to people that need them. Yes, you, you will get a crisp answer, but again, you should know how to handle Tableau. It. There, there are cases when Tableau will draw you nuts like, okay, this is not what I want or it, this is so simple and Tableau is not able to do it. It's not like that. Yes, there are some limitations of Tableau, but with each limitation, there are workarounds. 
So it is quite easy to uh, get your answers through Tableau. Okay, now when we say that Tableau is for visual analytics, so what exactly is visual analytics? Visual analytics is the representation and presentation of data that exploits your visual perceptions, uh, perceptions, abilities in order to amplify cognitions. So just to amplify your understanding, you have to uh, build your, uh, you have to do a visual analytics. So moving ahead, if I ask you in just 10 seconds that how many number of nine is there? Can anybody guess it? And please remember that you have just 10 seconds. Do I get answer from anybody in the chat window? No? Oh, at least you should have tried. Anybody? So your 10 seconds already, already over. Well, if I ask you now, if how many nine is there and it's just hung up so let's let me just try it out and why is my system hung oops oh 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 right so if i ask you now how many nine so can i get the answer in 10 seconds somebody Somebody can put it in the chat window. 12? 10? Okay, so so at least at least at least you tried. So I, I think it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, so ten is the right answer. So like you can see, it is tough when you have just blank data to analyze from and with little color, if I've just put on few numbers how easy it becomes to analyze things. So this is what is your visual analytics, you know. When you have loads and loads of data and you have to sit and analyze those, it becomes a little, little complicated to do it. But when you have just added little colors to it, it becomes little um, much easier to analyze it from, from just your blank data. You know, so it is just said that human pers perspective is like, if I ask you to do this mental maths, you know, until analysis, you that, that bang on and mental maths, it's... It would be tough, but if I ask you to do it on pen and paper, it would be quite easy for you. So it is stated that if uh, mental maths takes around 50 seconds, a pen and paper may just take around 10 or five, uh, 10 or 20 seconds to do it. So given a representation, a graphical representation to the data, uh, the analysis becomes quite faster. So, you know, if I just have a normal, uh, you, uh, I understand that you don't have a data understanding, you don't know what exactly the data is, but if I ask you which is the subcategory that is giving the, mat the least sales, I think you will be able to tell me, right? Is it tables? Yes, because it's all in negative and it is, you know, colored red showing a negative value in a in a pinpoint so you know uh, the way I put the tableau visualization is you should have a 80 20 relationship in your when you try to build a tableau visualization so what exactly is 80 20 relationship that in first 20 seconds when anybody looks at your tableau visualization they should come to know 80 percent of your data or exactly your analysis of what you what you are trying to figure out right so if I just ask you this visualization it's a tableau visualization that what exactly it is so in 20 seconds you will tell me that this is showing me a profit of category and subcategory in which tables is doing bad and it is really doing bad so I think nobody will disagree with this right so in 20 20 seconds you are at least able to make out 80% of the data. So that that crisp is how your Tableau visualization should look and not any drag and drop that Tableau has automatically thrown in front of you. So basically, um, you should be aware of what you are asking Tableau to build. So again, the same visualization is presented in a bar graph and now you may even be uh, you may even be able to point out that which is the best selling category 
right? So roughly, I think uh, copious or is the best. Yes, right. Copious is the best, and the worst is the worst is tables, right? Guys, uh, a small request from um, my side is this training of mine is going to be entirely an interactive even if uh, you guys are on mute you can always put things in chat and it's going to be entirely a hands-on training right so it's not going to be a normal thing where I just do the whole of the talking and and uh, you need to sit so you can always put things in chat I don't mind okay so moving ahead and this is the cycle of visual analytics so basically you have oops I'm sorry so you have a task you get a data you find the find the structure find the structure as in what exactly you need and how is the data uh, formatted then you view the data you develop an insight and you act so this whole circle goes on and on so it's it's a kind of a a scrum uh, uh, guys so if you are aware of this tab uh, the football match you know what happens in football match they don't decide things in advance they just come to come together decide the way they are going to achieve the second goal and then they head for it and even scrum certification is quite a hot thing going on in the market these days lots of professionals are going from for scrum certification so it's basically a kind of thing that depending upon your company's uh, you know your company's uh, norms you decide or either on a daily basis or on a weekly basis or or on every friday you decide the goal of the next week that how i how are you going to plan things ahead and then you do the development for one week then you uh, sit for a meeting and you uh, do the analysis the whole meet uh, the team does the analysis okay this is what we have achieved if that is what they were looking for and they are quite close they go on to level two if that's not what they are looking for then they they see that where are they going to lag I'm sorry where they are actually lagging and they take those things into consideration when they go for level two development so that's how things move uh, things are moving nowadays in soft software world and because after each step of your development your anal analysis sits hand in hand the reason of faster uh, analysis has come into picture because you need to have analysis faster so that you can move on to level two but, but earlier the they were following a waterfall method where they had you know business on top and developers below the whole hierarchy of people sitting down and the developers didn't know any didn't have any knowledge about the business the business didn't have any knowledge about the development and there was a huge uh, gap in middle of uh, the development that was taking place and it was not easy you know so with with scrum and faster analysis lots of things have uh, become quite easy so uh, again the visual uh, visuals best practices are you should always remember that you are representing the data for humans so it should be very simple it should not be complex and even if you are building complex visualizations which we would move ahead and I would show you how to build complex visualizations also but again those complex visualizations should have at least proper anecdotes and captions in your workbook so that it is easy for e for any normal human being to analyze it you should uh, use ample colors but again you should you please keep it in mind that when you are working with tableau it it gives you a variety of colors to use from you know it's got tableau's got a huge color range but it is always advisable to make a particular uh, color your habit you know if uh, moving ahead you will notice that I have a habit of always showing my you have a habit of uh, uh, you know I have a habit of always depicting my profit 
with a uh, green and my loss with red so anybody who is working with me or even if he is not working with me and he happens to see my series of workbooks by by just two three visualization he will come to know okay this uh, this lady she just shows her profit with green and uh, uh losses with red and it is uh, it's it's quite easy for you to analyze it so even if when you have a whole, whole uh, a range of colors to use from please try to select the best that suits you and uh, uh it is always easy uh, to use a color a similar color range for your entire workbook now that's very easy whenever you are using a entire workbook your entire workbook is a kind of the multiple worksheets that are having your analysis okay so the workbook should always follow the same color pattern the different worksheets should have the same color pattern if you are showing sales as blue in one sheet the sales should be in blue in all the sheets if you are showing your quantity as brown in one worksheet it should be brown in all the other rather than just changing the color in each worksheet maps you can use a lot of maps when you are developing your uh, visualization for a particular state it is always advisable that when you are dealing with states do it through maps uh, map, and then finally you present it through creating a dashboard so that's that's the basics of uh, of tableau now let me just you know show you one excel which maybe i will forward you uh, moving ahead uh, in the in the training but before that uh, like i said there are uh, various product families of tableau so quickly i'll show you some so this is tableau uh, public now tableau public is a free edition i'll deal with uh, with each of the product families individually in uh, when we are having a detailed class just i'm just giving you a, a a quick glimpse of how each product looks and maybe because tableau public is uh, free uh, i don't know how you guys are uh, moving ahead with training so can you just uh, tell me quickly like what which product will you use for your training how many of you are having that uh, public de desktop is anybody having a public desktop to work with if you are not having a uh, public des desktop uh, license version to work with, with you can always download tableau public Tableau Public is free for uh, it's it's like free and the, uh, it has 10 GB of space to use and 10 GB is a lot of space. In case you need extra space, you just have to uh, use a, a another i uh, credentials to you know credentials to log in. And uh, so, like I was saying, you can uh, all of you can just download Tableau Public, and we can we can work in Tableau Public. It's just that it is free, and the uh, confidentiality of data is not there. So you can just work on sample data, okay? Because anybody can log in, and they can download your workbook, and along with the workbook, you have the data attached. So you can always use a uh, 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 Tableau Public for the training purpose. So this was Tableau Public. This is Tableau Reader. It doesn't have any data connectivity. Only the thing is you can open your visualization that is sent as a package workbook. So again, we'll have a de detailed description of this. And this is your Tableau Desktop. Okay. So um, again, Tableau Desktop has two uh, bifurcations. One is a personal version. One is the professional version. So this is professional version. Okay, the the difference is you have a huge list of data connectivity in the professional version. The personal version has a limited data connectivity. Again, when we we'll deal with detail, I'll just show you the difference. So we can and uh, yes, if you will ask me uh, what is the exact difference between personal and professional. Uh, sorry, uh, a professional and the public version is the data connectivity. Like you can see, I have a huge data connectivity. The public comes with a very limited data connectivity, right? And when I do any development on my uh, desktop version, I can store it in my system. But 
if you are planning to take the training on Tableau Public, you need to prepare, uh, you need to have a Tableau Public account. And each time when you will, um, you know, when you will close your workbook, you have to either destroy your creation or put it on Tableau Public. So that that's not going to be much problem, you know, because I have taken training on Tableau Public and it's it's absolutely fine. So it's you can uh, go ahead and download Tableau Public, uh, and uh, you can download Tableau uh, Public 10.2 and uh, because that's that's in the market. Yes, you can practice in Tableau Public. You can just because all the data sets that I would be sharing you for the training, you can open it on Tableau Public, and uh, so uh, I don't have an issue with the confidentiality of the data. So any visualization that you prepare, uh, you can just post it on Tableau Public. So that's absolutely fine. Okay. So, and this is Tableau Reader. Usually Tableau Reader is, uh, is free and uh, you can only open your visualizations and check the visualization, like how it looks and uh, Tableau Reader is basically with the CEOs and the final clients who, who don't want to make much changes to the visualization, but they just want to open your visualization and see it. So Tableau Reader is also free. You can also download that and keep it in your system, you know, because you, you now and then you would want to uh, open your visualization on the reader and see how the client will get the look and feel of the data. So if I just quickly open it and show it to you. So it takes little time to open up. Right, so like you can see the entire workbook that uh, that I have uploaded on Tableau Public, uh, sorry, to, on to, you know, as a package workbook is opened on Tableau Reader and it is as it is except with the data that is there. So even if I look at the worksheets, now these are the worksheets, it doesn't have the data pane, right? Nor does it have an option to view the data. So I'm just right clicking on this and you can see that I'm not getting an option of view data or anything like that. So I can't make any changes over here. But any filters or parameters that I add to this works fine. Okay, so maybe I can just go over here and show it to you. Right, so you can see all the parameters and all the filters are working fine. The visualization is changing and all those things are happening. It's just that I'm unable to see the data behind. This is reader. Okay, and public and desktop I have already told you. Right, so this is the basic uh, visualization that I will be share. Uh, this is the basic uh, Excel that we will be working on, and we would be doing hands-on on this. So this is a normal sample Superstore Excel. Uh, guys, you know what? When you will be downloading your Tableau Public in your Documents uh, folder, you will notice you have a folder in your Documents. Uh, um, Folder, you have a folder as Tableau repository and that Tableau repository has uh, just just a second here I have a question which type of uh, Tableau does organizations use usually organize uh, the companies will give you professional version of Tableau desktop which is this until analysis they are you know if, if it's a startup and they feel that there are very uh, limited data sources that they will work with, they may give you a uh, personal version of uh, uh, desktop, but usually uh, they give you professional version which comes with all these data sources and it looks like this. So any visualization that you do, you have it on the screen, the recent visualizations you have it on screen and, uh, and uh, like I was talking about the, the drive. So let me just, you know, take you to, right. So in your documents folder, you have my Tableau repository. 
and this in Tableau repository you have a whole series of workbooks that uh, uh, sorry you have a whole series of folders that Tableau has automatically uh, set up for you right so what happens is in these in in these folders they have a path defined so if if I store anything if I store anything in the uh, in a particular folder, I'm able to locate it directly without much issue. Okay, so uh, like I was talking about, this is the Excel. Is there any issue with my screen? Can all of you see my screen? Okay. So moving ahead, uh, these this is a Excel. This is my business Excel. Okay. So this basically my orders has uh, talks about everything about my business. Okay. It has a uh, row ID, order ID, order date, ship date, ship mode, the customers, the segment, the country, etc., etc., etc. And so I'll just quickly scroll it and I'll show you. So it's it's like. Not that big. It, it is around 9,994 rows. Okay. And this, uh, this sheet in Excel talks about the entire business. So which are the categories, the state, uh, the state, the city, the postal code, the region, the product ID, the product name, category, subcategory. So a whole list. All right. The second tab talks about the returns so basically the order ID and whether it is returned or not and the third talks about few people and they are coming from which region so maybe it's it's just a uh, uh, my managers from different region so it's it is a huge excel now I don't know anything about the business and I this is the data for me anything that uh, development that I want to do ahead for the business I have to do it on this Excel okay so you just just quickly we'll see how easy it is to analyze uh, it through Tableau yes if you're an Excel person and you know uh, the formulas where you can just put in few filters and few formulas I'm not saying it's tough but at times it may be tough when you need to uh, add V lookup and uh, L lookup and all those things, right? So we'll not uh, go into that complex V lookup, L lookup thing. I'll just quickly connect my Tableau to Excel. So this is my Tableau desktop. I'm just connecting it to Excel. So I have my Excel over here. And you know, I don't have to go on and search it there because uh, once you have, uh, you know, when once you are storing everything in your Tableau repository under particular folders tableau or or even if there is you know a particular folder in which each time you are uh, storing your data set it is easy uh, the tableau identifies that path very easy after you have used it multiple times so just just if we if we drag the order sheet which was the first main sheet for us in this excel right so this is the main sheet it has a whole list of the business that we are doing so it is like quickly I scroll it down and I can see it it has got 9,995 that is one being the header it has 9,994 rows right so I have just connected my Excel to this uh, and Tableau tells me whether I'm connected live or extract so we will uh, deal with all these individually so what if how will this place look when you are connected to a server how will this look place look when you are connected to an Excel or a CSV file so we'll have multiple hands-on on this right right now I'm just seeing that I've just connected uh, it and through clicks my whole of the Excel has been imported to my Tableau and just without writing formulas my Excel sheet is not visible okay 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 so so let's 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 skip that for now. It's, uh, we can just see that. So you can see my Tableau, right? You can see the screen. So I have a one yes and one no. So uh, who said no? Maybe you have to check. 
Ramakrishnan, I think. Uh, just check any issue from your side because Manoj can see my screen and Nageshwar can also see my screen. So I think let's maybe maybe Excel I have not shared so it's okay. But can you see my tableau? Just just check it from your side. Okay, uh, just check and let me know. So to all those who can see my screen, if I just, you know, if I just ask you that, okay, which are the states that we are doing our business in? So uh, if, you, if you happen to look at Excel, it has got a whole list of states. And just to identify individual states, we have, uh, it will take time. For As for Tableau, we just need to go there on state and just double click it and we have the whole list of state. Now you say that I'm, you know, personally, if I talk about myself, Tableau one workbook and it has not been able to see. You're not able to see after the, you're not able to see a map in front of you. No. Can I just quickly check it? Because this thing is also... Okay, how about now? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so we have everybody can see it. Okay, so everybody can see it. So, uh, yeah, so like, so let's take it back. From back. So uh, like I was saying that the Excel has a whole list of state that we are performing in. Now if I ask you uh, which are the states, you know, you, you, you would just go to uh, Excel and we analyze it. But from Tableau, if I just, you know, double click on my state, I have it in front of me. And if I talk personally about myself, I'm not that, that very great at maps, you know, I can't look and identify about the place. Two things, you just hover and you come to know about the state. So even if you don't add anything, you, you can see it in front of you that, okay, these are the states that I'm performing in. Or you can just drag the states to labels. So right now, don't worry about all these things. We will be dealing uh, in detail each of these. So there's nothing in Tableau that will be left untouched from my side. And after the training gets over, they there would be nothing that, uh, you know, you hear in Tableau and you will say that, oh, I, I don't know this. So we will, uh, you know, uh, cover everything in detail right from the data mapping and how do we pull in data to what our data pane is, how are these fields coming, what if I want to change any of these. So everything in detail we'll go on, okay. I'm just like right now just showing you how easy it is to work with Tableau. And if I ask you about total sales, so maybe just uh, drop sales into colors. And I have it in front of me. The, so the darker the shade, this scale is telling me about the sales. So the darker the value, the maximum is the sales. Lighter the value, less is the sales. Okay. So... I have it in front of me that uh, California is really doing good. Texas is doing bad because, uh, you know, it's got less sales and maybe these areas are further bad. This is, uh, I'm, I'm so sorry, uh, California is doing good. Texas second uh, or maybe third and this is second and Washington. So basically four states that are, that are really doing good are these. Okay, moving ahead. Uh, if I just talk about, okay, just tell me which are the, uh, the categories and subcategories I'm selling because that is the, uh, the most important thing for me in uh, Tableau, uh, in, in my visualization, in my business. So I have category over here. I just double click. I come to know that these are the three basic categories that I deal with. Under these, these are the segments that I'm dealing with. Okay, and under each segment, these are the various subcategories that I have. So just to give it to you in text, I have this. Okay, or maybe if you want to arrange it in 
this manner. So you have consumers, corporates, and home offices. Under under uh, under these three, you again have three bifurcations of furniture, office supplies, and technology, and each category has further subdivisions of subcategories. If I ask about the sales that each one of uh, them is making, I just drop it into the visualization and I have it in front of me. If I again want to analyze it in, in profit and loss, I can further do it by adding colors to the to sales and it will give me a range to choose from. So, you know, Chase is really doing good over here. Binders is really doing good. Again, this is doing good. This is doing good. So, can you tell me about office supplies? Do I have any answer? Anybody who wants to answer for office supplies? No? Nobody? Okay, so maybe or, or in office supply storage is doing best. And I'm not analyzing the figures, guys. I'm just looking at the color range and I'm telling you. Here, darker the shade, darker the value and stuff like that. Okay? So maybe if I am not uh, comfortable with blue and I want to give it some different color range, so I can give it a red color range. Well, I don't personally prefer red for sales because red and green are basically for profit and loss. So I can change it. So quite easy, right? If I want to show it in in uh, in uh, just a, a graph, I can do that also. So I just drag this and sales over here. Maybe I want to give it some nice, not a not a simple bar graph. I want to make it little complicated so I can, or maybe something different which nobody else makes. So I can just make it a dual axis, and quickly I can just go here and and oops, my right click is not working. Okay, it's taking time, so I'll just close it. And from here, so I will tell you exactly what we are doing. Right now, just concentrate on that I just don't want to show it in normal bar graph. So we can just, you know, make this as a lollipop chart and give it. So just, just presenting it as a normal bar graph or presenting it in a lollipop chart is now this this will you know if if somebody your manager or a higher management or even if your client looks this is nice nice it looks nice you know when it is uh, represented in a different color and maybe we can just color the head the circles in our different color showing the different sales and along with this put sales and labels to give it figures so these are the things which we can quickly do or maybe moving ahead if I just ask you which are, I am not concerned about states, you know, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not concerned about values, you know. I don't know, I don't want to see the values of each subcategories, that is values, that is values of sales. I don't want to see the sales value of the subcategories, but I just want to know that which subcategory is making my, uh, giving me the maximum sales. So, and I don't want the values. So all I need to do is just drop it in text and the sale goes into the size and from here I will change it to text again and and I have it. So, so you know my, yeah, so my envelopes are fastener, fastener. Now fastener is really doing really bad uh, whereas all these which are, you know, bigger and uh, very prominent on face of it, maximum being the phones, so I don't have to concentrate on values and I have it there on the face. Let me just drop colors also, so that will make much better visualization. So I'm not concentrating on the sales value, the individual sales value, but overall structure I'm able to find out right so I really need to improve on my fasteners and labels and art 
whereas all the rest and and also envelopes if I want while all the rest are fine. So, so you can see how, how easy it is to build visualization on in Tableau and each time till now if you would have noticed that I have not opened these options, these show me options, show me uh, chart types that are quite prominent on the face of Tableau and anybody who has who's not had a detailed analysis and a detailed uh, knowledge of tab tableau you j j the first thing what we do is we open a show me button and we try to build a visualization from here i have been also doing it in my initial stages but right now but after after so much uh, analysis and time that i have spent with tableau i don't feel like opening show me button but yes again i'm not overruling it that i don't use it of course yes i use it and like you can see uh, see if I just want to you know show show quickly an analysis of how much sales and my profit per subcategory I just take my subcategory I take my sales and I take my profit shift to analytics tab drag a reference line of course cell and and I will do it on sum of profit and because I have used sum, I'll just choose this and okay. So, uh, my sales is this much and my profit is this much. It is there on my tooltip also and uh, again, I can do uh, a little bit formatting it, arrange it on, in, a, in a proper manner. But even if I don't arrange it, it's there. So, uh, you can see as for bookcases, my sales is quite good whereas this, I'm suffering a loss. Here also, I'm suffering a loss with supplies, with tables, I'm suffering a loss. Fasteners, I, I am on the margin. I am very much on the margin, you know, and I'm not doing that great. So, so a correlation is also very, very uh, easy without using the show me button. I just need to know that what each field will will do and what is the, the, the exact... Uh, definition for each of these and how are these going to help me to present a visualization I don't need to use the automation automated features of Tableau so that's how easy, easy it is to uh, to you know work with Tableau moving ahead guys with uh, as uh, we would like to uh, move ahead with the uh, with a hands-on session and Initially, your uh, first class is only going to be uh, the little introduction and uh, uh, know-how of what Tableau is and what are the pages, the data sources that you can connect to and what does your data source canvas looks like and what does each of the sheet look like. After that, the entire session is going to be hands-on. So the way I would take your session would be, I would explain you the concept, I will show you one hands-on and I will throw up a question to you in front of you so that we can pause for 2-3 minutes and quickly, uh, you know, uh, see if, if anybody is having any issue in building that particular chart type or any, any question that I have uh, uh, given you as in uh, workbooks and uh, uh, as in calculated fields and table calculations and all those. Uh, the, since uh, uh, you are going to have a recorded session, so after that, you know, you can just, when, when I'm doing a hands-on, you can concentrate on what I am doing and maybe take, take down notes if you want of how I went on and then try it later. If you have any issues, you can reach out to me through me. Okay? So that's how we would uh, take up. Uh, any question for me, for you guys? I'll just stop the session over here. Uh, I have five minutes quickly. If there are any questions or anything that you want me to answer, just put it on chat window and I'll answer it. Okay, thank you Manoj. Anybody else who wants to answer anything? Or who wants me to answer anything? Just, just to ask you, uh, like anybody who is planning to go for certification here, Tableau certification?
Okay, thank you, Grisha. Okay, Manish, so you're thinking of it. So, you know, during the training, I, I may also uh, tell you the topics which uh, uh, do come in certification and have to come in certification. Along with that, I would be giving you assignments which will help you in, uh, you know, planning for your certifications. So kind of questions come in certification. So you can have a hands-on of the that, but that would be after after I have completed sixty percent of the course. Anybody else? Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, can 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 we do one thing? Can we just uh, you know uh, put ourselves on uh, un unmute ourselves rather uh, one by one and. I'm so sorry. Can we just have a, a quick introduction from uh, your side? Uh, this is this part we missed. I missed earlier. So can we have a quick introduction? Not missed. I just felt off. Like let's let's start with the session. So can we just have a quick introduction from your side? Like what what are your expectations from the course? So that I can you know keep that in mind while taking up the session. Can one one by one all of you mute, unmute yourself and take this up? Yeah. Uh, hi, Kriti. Hi, hi, everyone. This is Manor. Mm -hmm. uh, I have done my master's in uh, Wilmington University in Information uh, Assurance, which is called MIS. And back in India, I worked almost for one and a half year in GE Capital uh, for a banking process, which is credit cards. And right now, I'm uh, expecting uh, training from Tableau, just like you said, it's an interactive session. And I'm thinking about the certification. So. I'm just curious, so like what kind of questions and how would the certification be and is it mandatory to be certified or like you know is there any benefit if you get certified on this for the job weightage for your resume? Yeah, that's the only question I have. Okay, okay, nice. Thank Thanks, Anuj. Uh, no, see, uh, uh, actually it is not very mandatory but, but because Tableau certification is little, little form complicated and little uh, tough to achieve it yes it does carry a lot of weightage um, but again it's your choice I mean so so we can you know uh, during during a session sometime middle uh, in the middle of uh, where we are too tired of uh, doing uh, lots of analysis we can halt the session and talk about certification so I'll give you exactly the guidelines of certification like what, uh, how is it, and all those things. And uh, like I said, the assignment that I'll give you will give you a picture of uh, what exactly questions come for certification. Okay, next, Krishna. Uh, Krishna, can you? Krishna, are you there? Would you like to say just give a small introduction from your side? So Krishna is also not there. So Nageshwar. Hello everyone. Hi Nageshwar. Hello Nageshwar. Welcome to Hello ma'am. Uh, I did my master's in technology management from Southeast Madhya State University ma'am. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't have any previous experience in computer technologies. Just okay. know, I, actually I have an uh, electrical experience as a I worked as electrical engineer in India. Mm -hmm. Uh, right now, I don't have any knowledge on the cap flow. I'm looking forward to learn that this technology, I mean, this tool. Okay. That's all. Okay. Thank you, man. Okay. Thank you, Krishna. So, so not to worry. It's like, it's a very uh, easy tool and you will not have much issue with uh, how you go on. So, let's see. Because, because I would concentrate on taking the training from very scratch to how you do the data mapping and how you pull data from different sources. I don't think so you'll have any issues. Okay, uh, next, uh, can we head to Ramakrishnan? Hello everyone, I'm myself, I am Ramakrishna Karapati. I did my master's in technology management at Southeast Missouri State University. I do, don't have any experience in computer technologies. I am oh. a oh. I am also looking forward to learning. You are also looking for, I'm sorry, I just missed that part. I'm also looking forward to learn this. Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay, guys. So it would be a nice session. So, so, um, you, so you can uh, just download Tableau uh, public for the upcoming sessions, and we can start off with the session. And uh, and uh, also, I would request all of you to drop me your mail ID so that I can give you the data sets that would be required for the training. Okay. Okay, guys. So it's nine thirty. We end our sessions here because after that, you know, once we start the session, it's never going to end dot on time. So every five ten minutes, we would always extend. So okay, nice, nice uh, talking to you guys. Let's see. Let's move ahead with Tableau and let's let let's make our data talk. Okay, let's meet up some sometime. Thank you. Bye.